to these bad bitches. Accolades, God will sign, no cast away. I'm twice as good, get half the praise. Throw a sniper up and I blast away. You ain't getting through me. All right, guys, and one disclaimer that I have to say, do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for anything that happens to you. Also, when you have your paint, make sure you get paint that bonds with plastic. And it will say it right here. It will say bonds with plastic. Make sure you get paint that bonds with plastic. Because if you don't, then you're screwed. And guys, do not do what I did. I accidentally touched the paint a little bit too early, and I did not actually give it a full time that it needed to dry. And as you can see right here, oh my i just touched it again but as you guys can see i don't know if you can see it but at the top right there i touched it a little bit too early and i did not let the paint dry and yeah it went bad and i just touched it down there on accident so make sure you let your paint dry this is the bottom of the xbox so nobody's really going to see this part just make sure you let your paint dry and don't touch it too early because if you do you want to mess your project up and i don't want to have any of you guys mess your project up like i said i don't really care about this that much so it's not really anything that pisses me off. I'm like, oh my God, just make sure on your project, you make sure you take your time, guys. I'm showing you how to do it, but I'm just kind of rushing through it because I told you I need to be the weather. Just make sure you take your time and don't rush through anything in this process. Because if you rush, you'll mess up just like this. Make sure you take your time. I'm showing you guys everything that you got to do. Just make sure you do it slowly and you take your time because you rush. Just make sure you take all precautions and that you make sure that you don't accidentally paint too much and you mess up on your project so just make sure you take your time this was a speeded process but i'm just trying to show you guys how you can do it and how to do it with yeah so just make sure you take your time i know what i'm doing because i painted my pc i painted my xbox one i painted my controller painted everything everything works great i'm just showing you guys how to do it but i'm doing that at a speeded process now let's get into the video what is up guys, it's Fizz, and today I'll be telling you guys how to paint your Xbox 360 or Xbox One, any console, and basically everything that you need to do and your procedure on how you should do it so you guys can have the best quality product. Okay, so first off, you will need some 600 grit sandpaper. Make sure you get 600 grit, 3M, whatever you need, or is it, whatever, 600 grit. You need a razor blade, your paints um, hot water so you can put the paints in so let me go and do that now so the reason why you would do that is for all the molecules in the paint to spread out and separate because it's pretty it's not cold out here but you want your paint to stick how it's supposed to your shell obviously some tape uh, I would prefer masking tape but this is all the tape I got a rag and right here that's my logo this is the reason why you need the razor blade. You need the razor blade so you can cut out the logo. I drew my logo out and I want to be able to paint my logo onto my Xbox. So I'll show you guys now on how you should do that. And but first, let's use this rag and we're gonna wipe down the whole shell. The reason why you wipe down the shell so if there's any dirt or debris, you can wipe it off and get it cleaned. So just dump it in just a little bit. Just rub it. Make sure it dries off before you put any paint up here. Because if you don't, then the paint will not bond correctly how it should. And you just dry it off. Simple as that. Wipe that off. Go to the next one. You do the same thing. And flip the rag. And wipe it off. Same thing again with this, and then wipe it off. And that's it, that's all you have to do. I'll put this up here so when you touch the sink, it won't mess up my sink. And yeah, make sure back here you tape this down. I haven't taped it down yet, but I will tape it down. Make sure you tape this down because this is the ribbon cable. And if you rip this ribbon cable or you mess this ribbon cable up, this piece will not work no more. Like the eject or the power button will not work no more. So make sure you guys protect this and tape it. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Just put your piece of tape right over it like that. And you're good to go. All right guys, so my first step that I will be doing in painting this console 
I will cut out my logo. Make sure your razor blade is sharp. This razor blade is not really that sharp. So you have to apply more pressure and you have a possibility of cutting yourself. So make sure your razor blade is sharp and able to use. So make sure you do precise incisions in the paper. Make sure all your cuts are nice and neat. I didn't sit here and take an hour or so to make this logo. It was probably about 10 minutes or so to draw it out. And this is my finished product. Just make sure you guys take your time because I don't want anything happening to any of you guys and I want you all to be safe. If anything happened to you, it's not my fault. And this is, you're doing this at your own risk. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and I'll come back when I'm finished. All right, guys, we are now back and I've just finished uh, cutting my logo out. Now we're going to go to sanding the Xbox 360 or whatever console you are sanding. Um, make sure how I told you guys that you have to put the paint in the bucket Make sure you switch each paint every five to ten minutes so each paint can get the chance to actually warm up and You know get the molecules to spread out and So now what you want to do you want to grab your sandpaper um, This right here and I say this right here is probably good enough for you to sand The one I'm gonna pay attention to most is this one because I gotta put that logo. I gotta put this logo on this side of the shell. So let's get started. So now that you have sanded your one part down, this is how it will look. Yes, it looks really bad. Don't worry about this. This is not the finished product. So now what you wanna do, you wanna grab your rag again, get it a little wet, and just rub some water up there. Get all the dust particles from you sanding it all off. And just make sure you just clean it up a little bit. You gotta be. Now you're done with this process. You don't have to sit here and take 10, 10 minutes just trying to wipe this thing down. Just, just take a little bit of time. Um, make sure you don't sand too much because you don't want to overdo it. You just want to do it enough where the paint will just bond to the plastic. That's it. You don't got to take it to the extreme levels. And we're set. All right, so now let's get ready to paint this. All right, guys, now that you have all sanded it down, you are ready to paint. Make sure you don't paint a too much thick of a coat and make sure when you paint that you go across. You go across, stop. Go across, stop. Make sure you go fully across. Because if you don't, then you're probably gonna have too much buildup on these sides, which you don't want, you want even coat. So let's go ahead and paint. All right, I'm sorry about that guys, my phone died, but I am done painting everything. Everything is fully painted. Now we're about to put the logo up. So this is the part now where you gotta have the logo that you have sat here and cut out. And you take the logo and whichever way that you want the logo, you place it up there and you make sure everything is nice and neat. You place it right over your painting. You get your paint, you shake it up a little bit. You take the top off and you're ready. And there you go. You're done right there. All right, now let's take this off. I know I messed up some. So you take this off. And yeah, I, I messed up horribly bad. All right, but as you can see, I did mess up, but what I usually do, if I sit here and do mess up, just take some paint, spread it on your hand like this, and you flick.
Nah, it doesn't look much like a screw up. It looks like you did that perfect. But usually I'll sit here and take more time into what I'm doing. This is kind of like, I'm trying to hear up and beat the weather because if it gets, it's literally 50 degrees outside right now and paint freezes, well, the paint molecules bundle up and clump up below 50 and right now it's exactly 50 so i'm trying to hear up and rush it before the weather drops and then this get worse so i'm just trying to show you all, you all a demonstration on how you guys should paint because i know how to paint if you guys seen how my ps4 look like i mean not my ps4 if you guys seen how my xbox one and my pc if y'all saw how that looked then you guys will understand i see i actually sit here and take my time with my painting but this is my 360 i really don't care much about so that's why I'm just kind of rushing through this one. So yeah, I'm sorry guys if about that. I'm very sorry. All right, so now I'm gonna paint. Now I'm gonna paint the front as well. My phone is about to die once again, so I gotta make this quick. All right, so now you grab it like this and you just paint it. Come on, paint, don't screw me over now. Boom, you're done. All right, now that you got that, you take it off. Logo's up there. Now, like I said, you get some paint on your hand. Like this much, flick. Flick. Boom, you're done. Now we'll do the same with this part that right there hope you guys can still see it get some paint on your hand like so flip boom done now you got to sit here and let that dry as you're letting that dry make sure you get your clear coat you really will need this if you want everything to stick you need your clear coat make sure you put it in the hot boiling water, well, not technically boiling, but hot water, at least 90 degrees. Make sure you put this in there and just let it sit five, 10 minutes so your clear coat and the molecules can separate. So yeah, guys, it's been Spiz and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will finish off with the clear coat. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace. All right guys, we have reassembled the Xbox 360 now and this is how the finished product looks. So as you guys can see, everything looks fine except for, you know, right here where I messed up and where I touched it up before it actually dried. But everything looks good, guys. See, everything feels smooth, everything feels sleek. It's just an amazing job. So hope you guys enjoyed this video on me painting my xbox 360 console like i said make sure you take your time i uh, hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe and i just created my patreon account so if anybody could possibly donate to me i'll leave the link in the description so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'm out peace